Derby County are going to be on the hunt for a replacement for Max Bird who moves on to Bristol City and today this video is all about getting to know Herbie Kane. He's a player linked to Derby County by journalist Alan Nixon and to be fair I can see and I understand the link. Herbie Kane has been impressive in impressive form for Barnsley this season. I think he's collected 15 goals and assists over the over the entire campaign, which for me, I think is massively impressive. It's an area of the pitch where I don't think we score enough goals. Obviously, Conor Horahan, I think, ended up with the most assists and goals from uh, our selection of midfielders. And considering he didn't play a majority of the season, not 100% sure how we ended up with that title. But we've never had enough goals or assists in midfield. So shall we get into this video talking all about Herbie Kane? But before we do do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below or in this top corner to stay tuned for all my latest Derby County, EFL and European Championship content coming up over the next few weeks. So here is Herbie Kane. He's a midfielder. And looking at him, is he going to be a Max Bird replacement? That would be sort of the main ideology that people would come to. Now, obviously, we've got to remember Max Bird is a very, very good footballer. And his move to Bristol City not only weakens our squad, but definitely weakens our midfield. But could bringing in someone like Herbie Kane change how weak the midfield is? Now, obviously, we do have issues in midfield right now uh, when we look at the depth chart. And Herbie Kane is a perfect player to bring in at 25 years of age with his contract expiring this summer in a contract that he's expecting to end on. He's not expected to re-sign. I think it's a perfect time for Derby County to bring in someone of his calibre. Do I think he's better than Max Bird? In my personal opinion, no. Do I think he offers a little bit more on the attacking end than Max Bird? I'd probably say so. Now, Herbie Kane has been in impressive form at Barnsley. He spent a lot of time at other clubs over the years as well. He spent time at Doncaster, Oxford, Hull. And he came up through the Liverpool youth system. And he's, he's offered a lot from midfield. 14 goals and 12 assists in 123 games at Barnsley. Uh, 7 goals, 10 assists at Doncaster. 6 assists at Oxford. Uh, and then 2 goals in 9 appearances at Hull City. Now... He's made 258 career appearances. That does include uh, his under-23s, youth league and under-18s appearances with 19,669 minutes. He's scored 30 goals and collected 34 assists in that time period while also collecting 45 yellows and a red card. So here comes another player potentially into the Derby County squad who loves the yellow card. Obviously, Louis Sibley could potentially be staying around. He's been training at more farm this week. Um, he could be one of those men in the middle, and obviously we know he loves a yellow card. But is Herbie Kane the right man for our squad? Now, he can play across uh, the three midfield positions, whether that be as a sitter, uh, a number eight, or a number 10. He can play all three roles. Now, I think having that versatility in midfield is really good. And I do think we've got to have... A certain number of players that specialise in a certain position. It's all right having versatility, but you need players who you know, right, he's a solid midfielder. He's going to stay there. That's his job. He knows what he's doing. He's not going to veer out to the left because he likes playing left wing. He's not going to veer to full back because that's where he's sort of come through his career playing. Like with someone like Jake Rooney, for example, came through as a holding midfielder or centre back, but has played a lot of times at right back for us or as the right side at centre half in a three and I think it's key to have players who specialise in their positions and Herbie Kane definitely does that through the middle of the park. He has made an appearance up front but I don't think that's something that we need to look much into. He definitely won't be coming in to play that position however he could play in any of those positions in the middle of the park. We've seen this season from Paul Warren that someone like Liam Thompson, like Max Bird, they've been utilised not only as the City midfielder, but also as a number 10 within a front three, um, in a 3-4-3 three, three system. Uh, Max Bird and Liam Thompson have both done that role. You've also got someone along the lines of Sibley, who has been utilised in that front three, has also been utilised in the middle of the park as well. Even Conor Horahan has played further forward as well as very much a lot deeper. And I think it's good to have players in the team that specialise in those central areas because I do think it's a difficult role. I think... Um, your midfielders are your best players on the pitch, in my opinion. They have to be your best technical players. 
Um, they have to be able to play in tight spaces, and that's something which I think Herbie Kane's good at. He, he's got an eye for a pass. He, he's got an eye for goal as well, and I think he's someone who could add a lot to this Derby County team. Now, obviously, we do only have one midfielder at the moment in Tyrese Fauna, and I do think that it's important that, obviously, with the likes of Smith, Horahan, maybe even Thompson and Sibley moving on, we need to add some experience in that middle. And even if someone along the lines of Liam Thompson stays, I think we still need a bit of a more experienced head in the team. And is Herbie Kane that experienced head that we need? Potentially, I do think we... Now, I'm not saying we need 30-plus-year-olds in the squad, but you need those experienced players who can lead the dressing room and lead that middle of the park, especially when you get towards the run-in. And you look at how Corey Smith... Um, played his midfield role in the back end of the season his experience proved pivotal in that time for Derby County you look at uh, Sonny Bradley coming in at the back end of the season into that centre half position and it just showed how important experience is and to just do the basics of your role and if you do the basics the rest comes with it and I do think uh, bringing in someone like Herbie Kane to slot into that midfield if he could even play in those roles a little bit further ahead where Mendes Lang and Blackett Taylor are obviously if those players are narrow, that would be where I'd see it. But if they're wider, obviously I wouldn't want him playing on the right wing, playing on the left wing. But if he's just sitting in behind uh, a striker, picking up the ball, uh, spraying passes about, I could perfectly see that deal. I could perfectly see that happening for him. And for me, I really do like the look of Herbie Kane. There's a lot of players at Barnsley that I really like. They've got a lad called McAtee. Uh, I believe he's on loan. I think he's a really, really impressive footballer. Um, I really like Sam Cosgrove as well. I think his movement off the ball is exquisite. I think he's got a real eye for getting in the right goal-scoring opportunities. And they've also got another midfielder uh, called Adam Phillips. I've mentioned him a lot in uh, my League One videos. I think he is someone who Derby you're dying out for because he can score, he can score goals, he can set up goals, he can control the tempo, he can dictate play. And I think Phillips is probably Barnsley's best midfielder. I'm not saying Herbie Kane is less of but if we could bring in Herbie Kane or an Adam Phillips I think that they would be two amazing signings for the club um obviously we've had reports of links to the likes of Sorba Thomas, Jamal Lowe, um, Sam Gallagher, Josh Windass and all of these players are really high level um, experienced players at this level and for me I think that is what's important for us this season we, I'm not saying we shouldn't get younger players into the squad but we do need that experience to make sure we're not in a relegation battle I think the key thing for Derby County this season is making sure that we're not in a relegation battle and do I think Herbie Kane could be a part of that absolutely he has an abundance of quality he's played in the championship before obviously uh, with Barnsley and don't get me wrong there's a lot of areas where he can improve and I don't think he's sort of like a end game top six midfielder in the championship I think like we'd need to definitely improve on that as well but he's definitely an improvement on what we've already got obviously a midfield two of Herbie Kane and Tyrese Fauna it's not exactly calling top end championship is it but it's also a midfield which I think could steer you away from uh, danger in my opinion I, I like Tyrese Fauna I think uh, he had a few problems last season with injury and when he did play, I thought he looked really good. Obviously, he had his uh, poor moments as well, as everyone did last season. But I think when he did play, he made some really, really good decisions and he looked like a really good footballer. So uh, I think he'll get more of a chance next season. Or he may even move on. Who knows what Paul Warren will plan to do with his squad. We have heard um, that his worst part looking into uh, the promotion is that he's got to rip this squad apart. And it is sad and we are going to see players leave, but it's going to be very interesting to see how Paul Warren does replace those players. Now, what type of deal would Derby be looking for? Now, due to the fact that um, his contract is expiring, it would be a free transfer. Derby County would not have to pay Barnsley a penny unless uh, they were able to trigger an extension, which I don't believe was in his contract. Now, Due to his age, I think it would be probably a two or three year contract. For me, I'd probably go more towards the three year deal side. I think he's a player that could definitely do a job at championship level 
for two, three, four years um, within this squad and within this club. Now, um, reading the reports linking us to Herbie Kane, um, the big question is, do Derby see him as a squad player or a key player? Now, someone of Herbie Kane who has been playing week in, week out for Barnsley is going to want to, if he's moving teams and stepping up a level, he's going to want to still be playing football. And I think it's massively important that we don't go all out on players that may or may not make the step up. And obviously with Herbie Kane, if we turn around and say, oh, you're going to be a main player, blah de blah which I don't think Paul Warren will do, it could cause problems later down the line. Now, personally, I'd bring him in and say, earn your position, you could be the best player on the pitch, you could be our starter for the next, what, 10 years really? You look at um, Conor Horahan, what's he, 33, 34? So realistically if you come in and perform there's no reason why you can't be the starting midfielder of the club for the next 10 years obviously within football we know players move around progression happens um regression happens also so um it's obviously important to note that when you're talking about uh, players like this but why can't someone like herbie kane come in and prove themselves as a key player and turn themselves into a cult hero now do i think this deal is going to go ahead I definitely think it's one that Derby County will be looking at. Obviously, within those midfield areas, even if we do re-sign like Liam Thompson or Corey Smith, we're still going to need numbers in the middle. Because of the way Paul Warren likes to rotate from a three in midfield to a two in midfield, I think it's massively important that, for me, we have five, maybe six options in the middle of the park. You've obviously then got the likes of Louis Sibley, who, uh, if he's to renew his deal, he can play in midfield. You've got Tom Barkazen, who can play in that number 10 role. And I think it's massively important that before we really put a proper focus on these deals, we need to know who's staying. And not having the retained list, as we don't at the minute on the 14th of May, it's difficult to see how this squad's going to shape up. Do, are we even going to stay with the 3-4-3 sort of thing that we finish the season with? I think that's a massive question which needs to be asked because I do think it limits Mendes Lang's impact and he's obviously a big player for us and obviously we're going to need a lot of big players next season. We're going to. Um, but for me, that 3-4-3 needs looking at because I think it limits the impact Mendes Lang can have. I think it limits what someone of the likes of Corey Blackett Taylor can do. Obviously, he thrived in the 4-4-2 that we played against Blackpool and against Portsmouth. And they were probably two of his best games in a Derby shirt. And it'd be really interesting to see how he copes with the championship standard of football, I think. Personally, for me, I think Corey Blackett Taylor will make a step up um, through pre-season and into this season. Because I think we're not going to have teams sitting in, 10 men behind the ball. Well, 11 men behind the ball. But we're not going to have that this season because people aren't going to be scared of us. Like, And that's something which we've got to take advantage of. Obviously, Paul Warren loves a counter-attack. And to be honest with you, counter-attacking football looks amazing at times. And we just have to make sure we have the defensive solidity and the midfield players to be able to cope with that type of football. And I think Herbie Kane would be perfect for that. If you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts on the Herbie Kane deal down in the comments. And yeah, make sure you like the video, share it with all your friends, and I will catch you in the next one. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.